In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss visualizing one fourth. It's an ongoing series in visualizing fractions. I'm going to show you that all three of these things are exactly the same thing. It's just the same idea represented different ways. So imagine one fourth, one single circle divided into four parts. And when I spread those out, you can begin to see these four parts easily. One, two, three, and four. That's what the denominator on a fraction means. It means how many parts. The numerator, or the one in this case, tells me how many parts I want. Again, I have one part that I've chosen out of four potential parts. So one-fourth is a fourth of a circle. I'm going to do some long division. Take four, and I'm going to see how many times it goes into one. Four goes into one zero times. Well, I had a little decimal point right next to the one, right there in the yellow. And move it up right next to that zero as well. I have 1.0, but I'm going to think about it as 10. 4 goes into 10 two times. Last time I checked, it did. So 4 times 2 is 8. So now I move that 2 up, so I have 0 0.2. And I subtract 8 from 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. So I'm going to add another zero next to my one zero and another zero, and I'm going to bring that down. So in this case, I have 20. And the next question is, how many times does 4 go into 20? So 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So I take that 5 and I move it up there, so I have 0 0.25. I move the 20 over there, and 20 minus 20 is 0. It turns out this 0.25 is the decimal equivalent of that slice of the circle, a quarter of the circle. If I bring in all the parts of the circle, each part is 0.25. And all these parts added together would add up to 1. So 0.25 plus 0.25 plus 0.25 plus 0.25, plus 0.25 is equal to 1. 1, which is the whole circle. In review, what I did was I took a circle, one whole part. I divided it into four pieces. I eliminated all the other parts except one part, which is one-fourth, and that's equivalent to 0.25. So it turns out we're back to the beginning, and one-fourth that little part of that pie or that part of the circle and 0.25 are all the same thing.